the heck is this? Oh, damn. A straight razor. Oh, it's too wonky to be used as a weapon or surgical instrument, but kids love it. Cool. I wasn't expecting to find a treasure chest. this place. Try to identify what I'm hearing. Obviously if the first one was cattle, but then there was some like machinery sound, maybe almost sounded like a distant train. That sound. fades away. I love this game. Very important kind of trifecta of places, the Cain's place, the cathedral, and the polyhedron. Is that the polyhedron creaking in the distance? Said kids love it. An adult will take it, but only trade three for it, which isn't very good. They look like they haven't slept in weeks. My god, they look really sickly. Ah, oh, it's locked. an interesting statue. Oh, a bird just landed on it. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, I feel like things are going to be locked off for me until I kind of do the first part of the main quest, you know? But that tragedian said, don't go there. They very specifically said, don't go there. I just want to see if I can enter any of these locations. No oh, time is it? Damn, it's almost 2 p.m. Yeah, that's locked. Try to go up to the polyhedron. It would take a lot of time, though. It's long, a long winding journey up there. Given that everything seems to be closed off, I think I should just head over to Isidore Barak's place. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. I'll take a different... Oh. You coming for me? Hi? What, uh... Whistler, so you're old Barack's son. Yes. I've got bad news. Well? 
Someone sharing your features spilled blood. It became known. People want revenge. They say that whoever murdered the three men at the station today is also responsible for Simon Kane's death. Ah, oh, one of the Kanes is dead too. Wait, is that the person people are searching for? Or is it or Barack? Is it or Barack or Simon Kane? Who was the one murdered last night? Yeah, what else are they responsible for? What else? He won't like it. The townsfolk realized murder is no longer taboo. People sensed they can now kill others. First they looked for a Shabnak Adig and killed several women. Then they went after the steppe creatures, Odongs. They're frightened. They turned to animals. Oh, the Odongs. Those are the, like, worm-like creatures? I don't know why Worm is stuck in my head. Maybe one of the characters, one of the Odongs was named Worm? I'm not sure. In the original game, that is. So they seek to punish murder by turning to murder themselves? It's like a craze. It's September, you know. Step herbs are in bloom. Unbelievable. You have nothing to do with it, I know. I'm a ferryman. Well, almost. Actually, I'm a train driver. I know you are on my train. Wait, so you're a ferryman? Is that... Can I give you those coins? Those... What were they, toenails? I wasn't alone, by the way. But you were. We drivers can feel the living weight. There was only one human being on the, that train. You. Yeah, there's something strange about that fellow traveler. Odd. The townsfolk aren't too fond of ferrymen and drivers, so we will help you. Go to a quay, show your face to a worm, and he'll take you wherever you ask for a fingernail. Show your face to a man, and he'll help you out with equipment. Huh. So it sounds like sort of a fast travel system. Right? They'll kind of ferry me and smuggle me into another part of the town. Go to a quay. What's a quay? Um, I have a fingernail already. Well, Jesus. Hi. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Finally, we're back together. I've been waiting for you, Barack. Will you have me now? Wait. I seem to recognize your face. Don't you remember me, Colbone? Well, I remember you, and I remember your words. So, will you have me now? You are an herb bride. We can't have a relationship. Your hands are so heavy. Shh, don't touch me yet, or else the dress will tear and it's no good. The tears in the dress must appear on their own during the dance, just like the earth is torn apart when it releases herbs. I'm not touching you. So, will you have me now? Will we be joined forever? Ah. Uh, but who are you? Fine, I'll wait for you to remember me. We'll meet again soon. I'll find you. For now, try to remember who I am, Colburn. Segne Dehe, or there will be trouble. I vaguely remember a character like this in the original Pathologic, but I don't think I ever understood what they were about. I don't understand what they're about now, but they seem more kind of in your face in the story. I will wait for you, Basagan. People think I spilled blood last night. The rumor will spread in no time. Uh, did a bunch of things just happen? A bunch of things popped up. Did I get stuff? Did I just get given money? What just happened? Oh, whoa. There are ferrymen in the town. They're waiting for me. Um, is that the warehouse? 
Yeah, that's like the warehouse area. Redhead Grigory Fillin, aka Bad Grief, always goads me into doing crazy stunts. We used to have a secret lair in a warehouse. Ruben is my father's student, almost a brother to me. I should see him. He will help. Okay, I think I should go to those places before going home home. Good, finally I can see some old friends and stuff. By the way, how do I save? How do I save the game? Like, is my last... God, my last save is still from the beginning of the day at the train station. Uh, hmm. Right, well, let's go there right now to that whole area. Just go straight across the bridge over here. I think that person back there, the the herb bride, I think we stayed with... Did we stay at their house in the original Pathologic, or was it our house? I don't remember, but we ended up going into a house, and they were also kind of around the house as well, just hanging out. Um, and the house was, I think, like about here? Somewhere in this area? Be nice to have a house, because then I could have somewhere to sleep. I keep looking at the map like 20 times a second. Whoa. People hide their eyes when they see me. Okay, so people think I murdered somebody, so my reputation just tanked everywhere. Oh, I'm super hungry too. I think I better eat the smoked fish. much. It really didn't. Hmm. I'm remembering all the times I scavenged in the dirt and bins trying to find a piece of moldy toast. You got any food? Oh, you do, actually. Seven? They'll trade five for the straight razor. The fishing hooks weren't any practical use, right? So I should just trade them. Broken scissors. Um, six, six, seven. Tra which ones add up to seven? I don't want to overpay. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. Broken scissors and one fishing hook. Could get an egg. Probably should. Five for that. Safety pin. That'd be six. I don't want to... Yeah, that's four. I mean, it's not like it's the end of the world if I slightly overpay for it, right? All right. Let's get it. Let's see how much the egg restores. A little bit. I'm gonna eat the fish, too. I'm a hungry, hungry boy. This is a clothes shop. I think in the original Pathologic... I almost never bought clothes of any sort, which I think was kind of silly. I think a lot of people were angry at me about doing that, <laughs> but they were so expensive and I was like, I'd rather just get food. I don't know. Let's see how expensive they are. Mm, shoes 500, gloves 500, well I have 500 coin. Shall I just get some shoes? Nah. Sorry, folks. I still don't want clothes. I'm sure I'll get it at some point. But I don't feel in 
great danger right now. There's no clouds of miasma floating around, so I don't think I need to worry too much. Fill up our empty bottles. Did my reputation just go down more? Did I just hear something over here? Could have just been the music. What is that? It sounded like cattle or like a lion or something. The spleen. Yeah, my reputation's going down and down and down. The more they see me, the more my reputation goes down. Shit. Well, I mean, I can't do anything to help that. Oh, actually. Oh, these little boats. I don't have to go over here. I can go to one of these little boats. Shit, I should have gone to this one. Well, I should have done that rather than tanking my reputation even more. Um, Let's go down this way to the, the one over here. I guess it's every time I pass into a new district, it's crapping my reputation. Whoa. Oh, did they... They hate me so much they want to kill me. Calm down. Fuck off. Are we done here? Okay. Mm. I think I'm about to die, and uh, I have no save game? Question mark? Uh-oh. Did I just lose the game? <laughs> oh. I guess I'm going to this boat. I cannot stop moving. I Shit. Ah. Uh, don't tell me everything I just did was for nothing. Fingersmith. Rise. You're, you're the traveler. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Don't you dare kick the bucket on me, lowlife. Round here we die on our own terms, not by the hand of others. Where am I? In the community. Be respectful, all right? I'm as respectful as it gets. How did I get here? Look, pal, this won't do. Give up my own blanket to carry you. Guess what you did? You coughed up blood all over it, asshole. You owe me a blanket now. A nice wool blanket. I wouldn't mind seeing a little spirit from you either, you know what I mean? What happened to me? So there you are, dead as a doornail. Down we dive to pluck your teeth out, then... Wow, turns out you're alive. And Crop over there says, don't you touch him, you vultures. He's bad grief's best friend since childhood. Well, Crop, this time, was not full of shit. Not bad grief's all happy, even rewarded us. Go ahead, say hello. He's over there. Bad grief, huh? We used to be friends, true. Surprised you're still alive. You owe me a blanket, got it? And a little gift for saving you. Something top shelf. I got it, I got it. Okay. 
Well, our hunger's still down. Health is just halfway, so we're not too worse for wear, really. But our reputation is shit everywhere. Like, really shit now, right? I hope it doesn't stay that way. It'd be ridiculous. I wouldn't even be able to go anywhere in the damn town if everybody's just trying to punch me on sight. You're hated here. You're hated here. You're hated here. Ah, oh, Jesus. Hey, you little creeper. What are you doing up there? Looking like a spider. Grigori's Reflection. Even in a handcrafted town like this, there is an underground, a rat's nest. At odds with the law. At odds with good morals. People come to them with dubious challenges and requests. Just say it out loud, they're thieves. You know my master. He's your friend and he hasn't changed much since you last saw him. He always loved to live on the edge. Never was a stickler for rules. But he was never truly vile or cruel. Yet he has changed. He wants to seem a kingpin, a king, a local czar of his own small turf. Wants to seem, not be. Play a big wheeler dealer. But that's not who he really is. He's just... Playing pretend? Don't make me laugh. Would you like to know what your old friend is truly worried about now? He's playing a dashing scoundrel in front of you, but his soul is trembling. Well, why? He's worried that blood started to spill now. And it was probably spilled by his men, the people who rubbed shoulders with him, hiding their teeth at first. He's worried you'll think he has it all under control, meaning today's craze is his doing. So they're scared about the outbreak of violence, the taboo being broken, and everybody just kind of... Well... Hitting somebody if they feel like it. Isn't it? Perhaps he's partially responsible. Perhaps he did corrupt them with his talk of how any law is but chains that one must break in order to become free and truly human. But he never wanted bloodshed. Keep that in mind. So the fellow bit off a bit more than he can chew. We'll see where it leads. Are you okay? Is that makeup or like bruises all over their face? I can't tell. That doctor's quick on the draw. Already shot someone. So much for his oath. The wench has us all over a barrel. Nothing to be done about it now. Well, look who's entered my humble home. Could that be my pal, Artemy the Artist? The Artemy who cuts arteries, maybe? No, I don't recognize this man. Too soft. You must have kept him swaddled and coddled, whatever palace he ran off for. Good to see you, too. A little bird told me you're a hard-boiled criminal now. Well, admit, old friend, I got misty-eyed with pride. Lucky for you, I can store you anywhere in the warehouses and no quail nor nightingale would sing a tune. It was self-defense. Forget it. Tell me this, friend. What's your plan? I love that they're just, like, staring at their hand. That's really cool. <clears throat> My plan? Why do you ask like that? Cub, your old man got killed. This night. You haven't heard. What? You're lying. Hell, Artemy. Half the town wants your head over this, those fools. Ah, easy to fix. Give me a little time. I don't believe you. Just stay away from Sabarov. I mean it. Cub, the man's a hawk. All might makes right. No sense. He'll throw you in jail first and only think months later. I know your thick skull, too. You charge in there, shoulders squared, thinking, oh, the truth will win out. 
bullshit. Stay away. You hear me? Mind your own skull, alright? Okay, a bunch of things just happened. Did they just improve how people see me? You're hate- no, I'm still hated. What else happened? A bunch of things happened. Um, I don't think any of the icons change. Wait, that's new. Lara Ravel lives by the river in a house called a shelter. We used to be friends when we were kids. Hopefully she will at least let me sleep at her place. Oh, thank God, I'm so exhausted. My thoughts have changed. Whoa, this has grown a lot. If I don't find a place to hit the cut Oh, that's not new. There are ferrymen in the town. They're waiting for me. Lara Ravel lives by the river. Yep. Ruben is my father's student. Yep. I need to find the people who still remember me, who will believe me without proof, who can vouch for me. So that's why they said not to go home and speak to my friends. To find the people that would vouch for me because they knew that people would have my head, I guess, if I finally showed up back home. Alexander Sabarov, the town's governor, is in charge of the investigation. I remember him, a stern man. Father's dead, I was too late. There's a hunt going on looking for a person with my features. Today, Bad Grief's mob is willing to drag me out of trouble. A warm welcome. Tomorrow, though, I doubt they'll be as welcoming. The mob's hospitality doesn't last long. Hmm. Gregory Fillin, aka Bad Grief, always goads me into doing crazy stunts. Uh, we've already seen that. Okay. Wait, what is that now? Oh, new character. Ah, the canes shouldn't mess around with my railroad's ties. Such labor is beneath them. You run into the old crowd? Stock Reuben? Lara? Haven't seen them around. Gotta say, it's a tough time for a friendship. I mean, if you can even call this friendship. Gravel-hearted Lara won't look at me now. And Stock's even worse. He completely ignored my plea for help. You need help? You gone outside recently? It's chaos. Innocent souls torn limb from limb. Everyone's lost their minds hunting the culprit. A step golem, some think. But others? They're after your hide, friend. All this going on, naturally, my men ran into a mob. Barely got out alive. They need a sawbones, bad. Your old man's gone, and his star student stock won't take the job, so... Well, hey, I'm a doctor. Let me patch them up. I am a surgeon, after all. Are your men still here? Hmm, not here. Shiner dropped by, said they're waiting for death in a hideout. Poor piecework. He's knocking on heaven's door. Got something stuck in the belly. Can you believe, folks? They're all shapeshifters, I swear. Shedding skin and eating each other. May not look it, but every person in this town has a vile beast inside. Uh, I need tools. Don't have any on me. Tools? Got you all set, friend. Blessed be the warehouses, the wellspring of goods, including illegal ones. There. Take a peek inside that crate and choose anything your heart desires. Although... Maybe you should stick around. Danger's out. Ah, knock it off. Not like I can stay here forever. I'll drop by the patient when I'm in the area. Wonderful. You find anything in his belly he doesn't need, don't toss it. Bring it to me. Might be useful. Wait, I'm sorry, what? What do you mean? What would I find in their belly that they don't need? What, like a memento? You're still a weird one. Bread and the bone, I suppose. Alright, take a look in that in that crate over there. Which one? Oh. I was thinking maybe the game would save when I sleep. But there's like a clock here. Game saved. Are the usurer wages war on the 
snailed barley down. Here we go, all around. 3.20 p.m.? Oh, look, the tragedian's even helping me along in the play. <laughs> this is the chest. Thank you. Is that the one from up there? No, it's a different one. Excuse me? The fuck? There's nothing in here. What just changed this? They couldn't suspect me of patricide, could they? Of course not. Impossible. So this is where I need to go to heal him. I mean, that's, that's a million miles away when everyone hates me. Jesus. There is a ferryman pretty close, though. And there's also another boat right there, so I'm probably going to use that. I assume one boat will transport you to any other boat spot. And I feel like I should do this, like, really soon. Because some events are time-dependent. A lot of events are time-dependent, actually. And you don't really know which ones are which. But I feel like if people are on death's door and bleeding out and need medical attention, that's one that's probably not going to go so well if I wait a couple days, huh? Yeah, so... Where's my shit? Grief? Is there another box? What the fuck? Is that a joke? Wonderful. Thanks. Well, no point in going there if I don't have a scalpel. I can't do anything. I, I can't even talk to you. I can't even give you a piece of my mind, you little shit. Hey, buddy. There's secrets up there? I don't think this is, uh... It's not very much of a parkour jump around kind of game, so I don't think this is going to get me anywhere. <laughs> Whoa, what is, what is happening? Stuff is happening. Could father have been killed by the very thing that made him summon me so urgently? It's possible. Man, there's so many threads to follow up on, huh? Okay. Shit, I guess I just got to go to Lara's? I mean... The most important thing to do right now really is make people Sick not hate me. Bit off more than he can chew. Won't end well. Cuz I can't go anywhere do anything if I don't do that. Okay. Well, I think for now this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to go to the ferryman and try to take the boat. To, oh, that's not Lara Ravel's place. That's where they got stabbed. Um, ah, there's a boat up here, too. I'll try to take it to Lara Ravel's place.